Hey everyone, Matt Lake here, back with another Unreal 5 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a camera animation from Maya imported into Sequencer inside of Unreal 5. Uh, so it's quite a straightforward tutorial, so let's, let's jump in. Um, so on my other monitor, I've got a little Maya scene set up, and it's basically just got a mannequin character who just stood still, and I've got this camera here which is animated uh, over 300 frames. Um, so we're just going to get this uh, set up in Sequencer exactly the same, and yeah, so all we need to do is once you've got your kind of scene set up and all animated and you're happy and you want to move over, you basically just need to export the camera out as an individual FBX file. So you can do this by just making sure you've got the camera selected and then heading to File, Export Selection and pick a path where you want to export it. So I've already got a file here, so it's just Animation Camera. So you want to hit Save on that and yes, I want to overwrite that. And the FBX dialog will come up here. Um, so what you want to make sure uh, you've got enabled is you want to make sure you've got animation ticked and under the animation category as well, right at the bottom, there should be an option for cameras. So make sure you've got that exported as well. And just hit export and let it do its thing. And now we can move directly over into Unreal. So on the Unreal side, I already have the animation imported here. Um, it's just a static pose of the mannequin just stood still, not doing anything particularly fancy, but it's it's 300 frames matching the same as the Maya file. Uh, so let's make our level sequence. So we can do this by right clicking anywhere in the content browser and heading to animation, level sequence. Let's give that a name, so let's call it LS for level sequence and camera import. Now if we just pop that open, um, we'll get this timeline here. Um, so we can drag all of our assets in here. So we want to have the mannequin in there. So let's go find that animation again. And there it is. We can just drag that into Sequencer and you'll see we have our character here. And our animation is 300 frames long. So let's make this match 300 frames. Let's just put a little bit of a buffer on just so we can see frame 300. And we can just drag that to the end frame 300. Alternatively, uh, what you can also do is if you find frame 300 or you can type it over here on the left and then you can right click or set end time. Um, either way works, uh, however you prefer. Um, so yeah, so now we've got this in and it's 300 frames long, we need to put a camera in. Uh, so there's two ways we can do a camera. Uh, we can either hit the camera button here, uh, which will generate a new camera and it's generate a camera cut track. Alternatively, you can go to the Place Actors tab and type Camera. And there's two types of cameras you can bring in. So you can bring a camera actor in, or you can bring a cine camera in. So I'd recommend using a cine camera because it's, uh, it's got a lot of extra features on um, rather than just the, the typical camera actor. So you can drag that in and it'll create a camera cut that way as well. Um, but for ease of use, I always just go to create a new camera at the top. Um, so now we've got a scene, uh, we've got a character and our camera, but it's not animated. Uh, so to import our animation data, all we need to do is right click on the actual camera itself and head up to import. And you can see the tooltip says import FBX animation to this object. Uh, so from here, if we just load in our animation data that we had before, click open and it will bring up this import FBX dialog for cameras. Uh, so there's a few options here. Uh, by default, I believe match name is on and cameras, uh, create cameras is enabled. Uh, so basically what you want to do is disable match by name only because our camera name in Maya was camera and the camera name in here is cine camera actor. So it's slightly different, but uh, if you untick that, uh, we can avoid that as well. Um, and create cameras, we don't need to create a camera because we've got our camera already. You wanna make sure convert scene units is enabled and replace transform track. Uh, this replace transform track isn't um, in Unreal 4. It, this is a new option in Unreal 5. All it does is basically stomps over the last data rather than adding a new track. And the reduce keys is optional. And all you have to do is hit import. And now you'll notice there's our camera data. Awesome, cool. And then now you're free to go in here and start fiddling around with things like depth of field. Um, so you can put on uh, manual, put your focus plane in. Move that in to bring the character into focus. And you can start keying all of these options. Um, and there you go. 
well joyster now um so yeah that's how you import a camera from maya into unreal and yeah guys if you've got any questions or comments leave them below i'll reply to all of them uh feel free to reach out to me on twitter at matt lake ta and uh yeah guys hope you have a good day see you in the next one bye